Okay, so it's a new day of mushroom hunting. So this is the forest we're going to explore. I'm going to explore and here is the grass. Seems like to be a good place. Okay, the first found. I don't think it's edible, but it's cool, the first one. Okay, here we have another mushroom. Probably it's not edible. The forest is extremely dry. As you can see the grass is dry. So it doesn't look like here will be any mushrooms. I mean, not canterelles. So a part of two unedible mushrooms that we found, there's like nothing. So we're heading back. Okay, on the way to location number two, I'm not sure if um, we're going to find something. Yeah, hopefully, yes. But it's uh, been pretty dry week, as you've seen in the location number one. Let's hope that the second place will be more moist. Okay, location number two. This forest looks a little bit more dark, dense and moist. Probably it will be a better place, but we'll have to figure it out. Okay, so we walked for a little bit and we found like one here, like a little bit more and here. And if you can see, the moss has been already digged. So it means they grew like for the second time. So it's not the first time. Do you see the mushroom? Yes, hurry up. So you walk, walk, and you see a mushroom, and you think like, oh, it's a tiny chanterelle. But after, like, you pay attention and it grows on a birch tree, not in the ground. So it's a false chanterelle, so be careful. Again, these mushrooms, Rusula, are here, and this one is, whoa, look, how big is it? Huge. Okay, one more mushroom. So far I haven't seen mushrooms like this here. This is the first one. If you know it, leave in the comments below. Okay, found more. One, two, three little groups. But mushrooms are pretty big, so I'm lucky to spot them. Okay, so I've been walking for maybe half an hour more. Found here. Here, 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 and also at that little hill. So I need to be careful while picking, you see? They kind of spread around a lot. Okay, so I found something that's supposed to, that is a copper snake, but it's a lizard, so it's interesting. I've never seen those before. Okay, so we walked for maybe two and a half hours and this is what we picked. So these are 10 liter foldable buckets and this is actually a lot for us. And we again walked to the places where people have been, so it's pretty good season though. Okay, this is the ripe what, stone bramble, mm, stand bad. I love it. The fruit leather of it. It's really, really delicious. Okay, one more reminder that the wildlife exists here. So look at this jaw and these teeth. So if you know what kind of animal is it, please uh, write in the comments because I really want to know what animal is this, if you're familiar with any Swedish forest. So let's dig here a little bit. Here's nothing. I found like a couple of Tiny chanterelles here, but nothing else. A couple of, uh, maybe 10 days ago, I've been here and I left some small ones and you can see they grew up. So now I can pick these up and uh, cool. So more chanterelles. So last time I haven't picked the tiny ones and now we can count how many we can get one. Two, three, four, okay, 
five, there is six, uh, seven, eight. So eight. Those tiny ones, like if they were, when they were small like this, there will be no use of them. You wait a week and you have eight mushrooms. Pretty good. So these are all of the mushrooms that we picked up today. The full bucket. And it is 2 kilograms, 393 grams. So 2.4 kilograms. Pretty good. Okay, so I showed you before, told you that what I do with these leftovers. First of all, we have to smash the mushrooms. All of the leftovers you have. Like here are two buckets I have. And after we fill. Okay, so my two buckets are ready and over there we have birch trees, birch trees and in the corner also. So these are the three spots we're going to water with our mushroom soup. My birch tree, but here are also some lilac bushes, so we have to go in and we're going to just spray it here should do the work and we'll go for the next bucket to go to the next corner okay pretty heavy so also add a little bit of here and after we'll go to the corner thank you guys for watching i hope that you enjoyed today's video please uh, comment like subscribe and if you can identify any mushrooms or plants in the video please let me know in the comments below Thank you. Love you all.